the US has just passed a $52 billion bill which will allow its domestic semiconductor companies to manufacture and promote its own industry of semiconductors. And this bill is directly targeted at China and competing with China. And that's the primary assumption that the US is working with that they can promote its companies and eventually remain ahead in the semiconductor race. That is why this race is described as a chip war. Though we'll have to see how SMIC goes forward with the technology. The chip war itself is not new. It goes back to the Trump administration when Trump decided to crack down on certain companies who were supplying the uh, semiconductor chips below 14 nm to China and the Trump administration put sanctions on certain companies and this ensured that companies which were tied to Huawei and who were the ultimate suppliers of Huawei could not get the semiconductor chips that they needed and this particular sanction remains in place and that's what is raising questions about the ability of US sanctions to stop China from innovating or finding ways around you know manufacturing its own semiconductor chips described as rise of industries semiconductor design and technology is fueling chip wars in the industrialized countries certain countries are trying to maintain their edge that they have in semiconductor technology and china is in fact trying to move ahead in the ladder when it comes to the manufacturing of semiconductors the chinese semiconductor company smic has somehow managed to manufacture 7 nm technology uh, semiconductors which are seven nanometer semiconductors that's a proprietary technology that only certain companies like TSMC Intel and Samsung possess and there is a major chip war going on between industrialized countries including US and other countries like uh, South Korea